Hi, I'm Ryan Meyer for The Developer Show. This is your update on the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. A new set of experimental features are now available to use on the Lenovo Mirage Solo, our standalone daydream headset. These include the experimental Six Degrees of Freedom controllers, see-through mode, and smartphone Android apps in VR. Take a look at the post linked in the description below for screen caps and links to get started. Flutter Release Preview 2, our last major milestone before Flutter 1.0, is now available. The theme for this release is Pixel Perfect iOS apps. Also included in this is the ability to execute dark code in the background, even while the application is suspended, and a reduction of up to 30% in application package size. More details and links to get started are in the post. Google Data Studio is our free modern business intelligence product. Cloud Data Prep is our fully managed data preparation product, powered by Trifactor. Both are now generally available. To learn more about how to use them to organize, access, and understand your world of information, head on over to the post. We recently announced the Cloud Inference API. It's a simple, highly efficient, and scalable system that makes it easier for you to quickly gather insights from type to time series data sets. It's also fully integrated with Google Cloud Storage and can handle data sets as large as tens of billions of event records. More details and a link to join the public alpha are on the post. Advanced machine learning with TensorFlow on Google Cloud Platform specialization is now available on Coursera. It will help you gain skills in building more sophisticated and state-of-the-art models to solve enterprise problems. It consists of five courses, which are all detailed on the post. Cloud Memory Store for Redis is now generally available. It is a fully managed in-memory data store service built on Google's highly scalable and reliable infrastructure that automates complex tasks such as provisioning, scaling, failover, and monitoring. So you can focus on your application, not your IT operations. You can get started with the post. Code Search is now available in beta in the newly revamped cloud source repositories with an entirely new user interface and semantic code search capabilities. For more details and to get started with the new cloud source repositories, head on over to the post linked in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Red Amaya for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. It includes the experimental Six Degrees of Freedom controllers. So close. So close. So close to saying a, a consonant. <laughs>